Hi, I'm Cal Van Doren, an application engineer here at AGI, and today I'm going to show off the coverage utility within Operator's Toolbox. Now, coverage may be a feature within SDK that a lot of you are already used to using, and one uh, or many of our users note that there's a lot of overhead analysis and setup time that goes into setting up a coverage definition. And that makes perfect sense, right? You have to set up your grid points, you have to set up your area of interest, you have to set up the uh, assets that you're going to use to cover that area, and then you also have to set up your figure of merit and what you want to pull out of your coverage definition. So this tool within Operator's Toolbox helps you optimize that workflow, helps you go through that workflow in a much shorter time. So to show that off with an SDK, what I have here is a Leo imaging constellation, just a sample one. And then I have a, a whole set of, uh, of, of ground sites already modeled. Now these ground sites are mostly just for situational awareness, since what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a revisit time computation over the contiguous United States. So I'll open up the coverage tool on the right side with an operator's toolbox. All I need to do is hit uh, the green plus sign for new coverage. And that brings up our coverage options. Now this allows you to configure a coverage definition in a matter of seconds when it might normally take you minutes to go through that workflow. I'll go ahead and define my coverage name here. I'll just do revisit time. I'll change my coverage type to country and region. And I'm going to go ahead and select the United States. Again, you can define the point granularity here. I'll go ahead and just start with two degrees for simplicity. You can fully define the computation interval as you can in the normal coverage definition. I'll leave the defaults for now. In figure of merit options in the bottom left, you can select from any of the figure of merits that you'd normally be able to use. In this case, I'm interested in revisit time. So I'll select revisit time. And here, you can select your contours, your start, stop, and step for the levels within your contours. And that'll fully be configured for you uh, by the tool. I'll go ahead and leave the defaults for now, but of course you could edit those. Then on the right side, under Assets, I'm going to select my Cameras constellation, which is a constellation of all of the optical imagers on my imaging satellites. Note that only constellations will show up here in your assets, and that's to force users into, into good practice here, as you always want to be using constellations for your assets and coverage definitions. Once I've selected Cameras, I'll go ahead and cl click the green plus sign, and it'll go bold. And note that, of course, you can also add a grid constraint as you normally could on a coverage definition. Now that I've done that, I'll just hit Generate and Compute. So now that I have a fully defined coverage definition within the coverage definition tool, I can go ahead on the left side and click on it. And then I can animate through my scenario. And I will see that my animation contours are working for revisit time just as they normally would if I took all the time to set this up normally. But I was able to save a lot of time by using this coverage definition tool and going through this optimized workflow. So thank you. And as always, if you have any questions, please get in touch with us at support at AGI.com.